First off, I wanted to say thank you to all of you guys. As of writing the script for this video, you have now brought this channel to past a thousand subscribers, which is a huge milestone. I really enjoy rescuing, refurbishing, repairing, and restoring computer hardware as well as sharing the process with all of you. Your likes, comments, and subscribes are the inspiration that keeps me doing this, so thank you. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed or liked this video, now's a great time to hit those buttons as well as the bell icon. Okay, so here's another e-waste rescue video for you. This is a Packard Bell Platinum 45 Media Center PC with a Pentium 1 133 MHz CPU. It seems like your run-of-the-mill Pentium 1 system. I wasn't initially going to save this one, but the factory stickers caught my eye. It's always great nostalgic feeling to see the factory sticker promos. And as I look closer, I noticed it had a TV tuner. A mostly complete Pentium 1 Media Center PC with TV tuner and original stickers? Sign me up! As you can see, some parts are missing and it appears badly stained, but I decided to overlook the overall poorish condition and rescue it, at least for now. I was very excited when I'm pulling the cover to notice that the computer was pretty complete and original, and not even as dirty inside as one might expect. To my surprise, the TV tuner used an ISA interface, not the typical PCI I was familiar on seeing with these cards. I didn't even know they made an ISA version of it, so this machine was starting to look pretty cool. It even had its original hard drive, which I was hoping to have a copy of the factory installed software and drivers. Although there was some permanent staining on it, it cleaned up pretty well considering. It's missing the front plastic face at the very bottom, which is unfortunate. It's also missing a drive bay cover, but that could be resolved by installing a second CD drive or a zip drive in the future. The system does power up, but it didn't boot to any operating system. Upon entering the BIOS, I can see the drive does not appear at all despite verifying the connections were properly seated. You can definitely hear the drive spin up, so it is very likely to be a faulty drive. That was a bit of a bummer, because I was hoping for a copy of the original factory software, drivers, and even wallpapers. These can be difficult to hunt down one by one. With a little googling, I did discover that there are many Packard Bell recovery images, original factory CD backups, on archive.org, so this may be a venue if I do end up doing a proper restoration of this machine. So here's what I want to know from you guys. Is this machine unique enough and worthy of a restoration. I have a lot of these systems and not a lot of space, so I'm going to have to start deciding which ones stay and which ones go. So what do you think? And what's your reasoning behind it? Drop a comment below and let me know. And also make sure you've hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. Until next time.